Okay. <laughs> Made you think that. That was a quick thumbnail right there. What's going on, RVG fam band? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Robert, aka ODM. This is Welcome Wednesdays. Um, my wife, Vanessa, aka the Heina, the pregnant Heina, is upstairs. Um, and Layla and Eliza, everybody's upstairs today. Uh, we weren't gonna go live today, but I was like, babe, maybe I'll just jump on for a few and just say a few words and more importantly, get some input because this whole pregnancy thing is about to get real, as you know that most pregnancies do. Um, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time we upload a brand new vlog. And uh, yeah, so enough said with that, guys. As you can tell by the thumbnail, I am a... Uh, husband um who needs help you know assistance in this because i don't like to ask my wife a lot of questions i i mean i do but i don't want to bother her because i know she when she's in pain or when she's not feeling well it's kind of like I, I try to get what's going on with you and what do you need you know cut and dry right black and white um, i'm gonna wait for everybody to come in so uh, we can address this and move further but How's everybody's day? This is Welcome Wednesday. We do this every single Wednesday. I said Welcome Wednesday. We live Wednesday. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm on the radio. Every Wednesday, we go live. We stream here on YouTube. So please share this video. If you know somebody that would love to watch this, I encourage you to, um, you know, send them a text. There's a link. And I just give it a big thumbs up right here because we all go through this, this uh, topic of uh, pregnancy. I mean, it's a long journey, as you know. A lot of you have one, two, three, four, five, six kids. And uh, so every pregnancy is different as we know that. So I'm gonna wait here. Um, thank you guys. Everything cool with the audio? I just wanna make sure before we get started. Yeah, give me a big thumbs up and let me know so we can get into it. Shout outs real quick uh, while I'm waiting. Renata, Chicago in here. What's up, Rosie? Um, Valerie, uh, hey, congratulations. Valerie just found out she's pregnant. There you go. All right, it's the season. Something's in the, something's in the, man, water or the trago or the tamales or and the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> uh, man, a lot of shaitan in here. Okay, so let me get to it. All right, two minutes and 50 seconds. All right, let, let's get into this. So I got a call this morning. Um, actually, no, I got up this morning to go to work like I normally do, okay? Uh, I was getting myself ready and whatnot. And as I was uh, getting ready to leave, my wife um, gets up out of bed and she goes to the restroom and I hear vomiting. So I go over to her right away and I was like, babe, you know, I, I already know in my head what it, it could be. She, she's pregnant. But I wasn't sure, like these things are running through my head like, all right, this early stage of pregnancy, is there vomiting? You know, I, I don't know if it was, I'm not sure if it, it's this early. Uh, I, think, I think we're five weeks right now, six weeks. And um, if it starts this early. Uh, so I, I asked her right away, I said, babe, are you okay? Do you need anything? What, you know, cause my wife's the type, she could just go, you know, vomit like it's nothing and then just hop into bed and she's all right, you know what I mean? But this, obviously I know with the pregnancy, um, what's going on is, is, uh, you know, these symptoms are going to start taking place. So I'm going, okay, uh, what do you need? And she says, well, I also have a headache. So not only is she vomiting, but she has a, a severe headache and it's really, really, really painful. And it, she's uncomfortable and it's hard for her to sleep. So I grab her some aspirin and, um, uh, I think it was ibuprofen and I, I know it wasn't, uh, that's not really what you should be having, but she was, you know, like, God, give it to me, give it to me. I was out of Tylenol. And like I said, it was really early this morning. So we gave her one, she took it and she said she was fine after that. She was able, I think, to go back to sleep after that. Um, then I get a phone call this morning, later on in the morning at work. And she's just like crying, uh, just really in pain. I could tell in her voice that she was just... Like, yo, come home, when are you coming home? And I was like, well, I'm wrapping up here. I'm gonna hurry up and um, um, come home as soon as I can. What, what do you need? So she asked me to stop by her store and grab her something to eat. And now she was complaining of sharp pain in her neck. So I, I don't know if she slept wrong, but she said, I have just got this extreme pain down the backside, my left side 
of my neck and I'm unable to turn. So I don't know, sometime between when she got up with me in the morning and that time she was tossing and turning. I don't know if this has anything to do with the pregnancy, but you think everything that's abnormal happens or has to do with the pregnancy, right? Like you just immediately connected with that. Um, but it could just be maybe she slept wrong on it. Who knows? So I went and got this. Uh, she asked me to go get her some heating pads for this so she's able to sleep. So I went and got her some lidocaine, uh, this patch here, aspirin cream. And uh, so she can put on her back right here. And we did that. And according to her, it didn't work. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, as far as that, you know, the pains and whatnot. Right now, Layla just came down and, and got her a bag of a sock. It was a sock of rice, old school, heated it up. And that seems to be actually working for her right now as we speak. So I wanted to get her uh, one of those heating like blankets type, the ones that wrap here. But this was before I, I, I knew this wasn't going to work. So I think I'm going to head back to the store and get her one of those because that's what keeps the is, is keeping the, the sharp pain in the back. Um, well, at ease as of right now. But uh, yes, yeah, she says she's been nauseous, headache, vomiting. Um, and oh, by the way, zero appetite. I went and got her some, some food earlier. This, she wanted some Apoyo Loco. So I went and got her a salad. She wanted some chicken tortilla soup, got her that. She was able to eat it, but she just says, I have zero appetite cravings right now. So, um, I don't know. That's where we're at right now. I'm jumping on because I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to just let this linger. And this is an opportunity for you, fam, bam, to, you know, help me out. And <laughs> so I'm not stressed because if one person is stressed already, you know, I, that's the thing is to unstress that situation. So I'm pretty cool, calm, collected. You know, I, I know where my mind's at. My focus is on my wife and that's to uh, help her every day because I know day by day, this is just the beginning stages. And it's just going to get worse. Um, it's crazy because I remember when she was pregnant with Eliza, um, she went through a lot of different symptoms as well. And I just asked her earlier, I says, are these some of the same symptoms that you were going with with, with Eliza? And she, she was like, well, not really. She's all, except for the uh, her arm, her wrist. I don't know if you meant, uh, you remember in previous vlog, she has like, a, she sleeps with a band and it's like some type of carpal tunnel. I think it was some, something like that. It got inflamed or whatnot. Well, that's the same symptom she had when she was with Eliza. She found out she was pregnant. So she's wearing that again. And poor thing, she's upstairs. And I'm going to take you upstairs in a minute just to kind of say hi. Because she's been in bed, guys, all day long. So let's see here what you guys have to say. Um, um, forgive me. I haven't been reading the comments, but I'm going there now. So if you type something earlier, just uh, retype it. I'll try to get to it. Um, Kimberly Gonzalez's baths are good. Baths are good. We do have a nice big tub. Maybe we'll run the water for her. Put a nice, you know, uh, towel behind her neck. My wife vomited for two months. Her pregnancy didn't let her keep food inside. All pregnancies are different. Wow. Interesting. No rubbing stuff. Okay. Like Vicks or, you know, uh, what type of rubbing stuff are we talking about? Uh, man, it's going by so quick. For pain Tylenol. I did get Tylenol. I went after that once I got the uh, Lidocrine. Um, or Lidocrine. Lidocaine for that. Um, don't use anything, use anything that has a solution. A lot of water. Yeah, she's drinking that right now. Us always tell her to man up, bro. Just kidding, Bo. <laughs> Bo, you crazy, man. Right? Nah, man, I can't tell her that. Miguel's Jr., original burrito. <laughs> yeah, all the guys are making jokes. But, uh, Bo, actually, you would know, man. I mean, when Maria was pregnant, uh, I mean, recently, you know, Serenity, I mean, you knew uh, more than anybody. It was, you remember the first six or seven weeks? What were some of the symptoms? Um, what did you do about them? Chiropractors do oh, miracles. Uh, my notifications are coming up here. Lemon suckers will help with the vomiting. Lemon suckers. Where can I get those at? Like at a CVS, Walgreens? Um, her symptoms are normal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I feel like you guys are all doctors in here and like telling me, like helping me out. This is really helping me out a lot. I tell you, because we don't know, man. Um, <laughs> you're a fool. Attitude, watch out for the attitudes. Oh, it's all good. She gets a pass, man. Uh, that's when you just kind of, you know, got to step away for a little bit. 
arthritis, they have nausea, pops, and candy that helps with vomiting. Okay, shout outs to One Love for that. She said that Imagine Life with us said that lemon suckers give her pasta she made you. Ha <laughs> ha, you're wrong. Yeah, I think we got some of that too. I'm pregnant now and started with all those symptoms uh, five weeks to two, 20 weeks. I'm 23 and just now feeling better with my other kids. Didn't uh, have any symptoms. Hope she feels better soon. Thank you. Uh, Walgreens, okay. I might have to go check that out. Love you guys. Thank you for all this. Rub some cream, okay. Uh, Prego pops, peppermint candies. A lot of you are saying the Prego pops. I got, I got to go check that out. I've never heard of those. Maybe my wife has. I have to ask her about that. Put Pedialyte in the ice tray. Ooh, I like that. I might have to try that. Pedialyte, uh, um, ice cubes, <laughs> essential oils, peppermint maybe. Okay. Cool, lots of water. So a lot of you are saying the same thing. Ginger candy as well. But yeah, I know, no medicine. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, it, it's very tough and, you know, medicine and coffee and all that other stuff later on. Her, her go-tos every single day, she can't have that. And I, man, I, I gotta say, I'll give you ladies props. Uh, it's not easy um, having to go through all these symptoms and, you know, carry a baby for nine months, man. That's just mind boggling and having to give up so much. Like it's not a one week menstrual cycle. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a whole nine months. Uh, Dr. Bo up in here, what's going on? All right, guys, well, I mean, short and sweet, I, I don't wanna take too much of your time, but I, I think I've, uh, you know, I, I know I'm gonna go definitely go check out the lemon suckers, uh, have some, the Pedialyte that also works, so we don't have that in here so i'm gonna head out and get the kids top it off layla's sick she stayed home from school today she her stomach was acting up um and then uh, elijah he's just running around running amok so i'm trying to keep him active and busy while you know my wife's staying in bed but he's been pretty good he's been laying up with mommy up in the bed so anyway um caf ooh, caffeine withdrawals that's maybe the headache Ooh, that's a good one. I didn't think about that because I know when I don't have uh, coffee after a couple days, man, I start feeling that too. So, and I ain't even pregnant. You know what I mean? So, uh, Zofran, okay. Um, give her a Coke. I don't know. Is Coke good? Sugar? I don't know. Uh, rice water. Some horchata. Uh, Zofran is not safe. Okay. Well, I'll have to look into that. I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that before. Um, this ain't no Coke. <laughs> some of you are saying, go get Coke. And somebody saying, no. Hope she feels better soon. All right. Well, thank you guys once again. Um, let me do my shout outs. I'm going to take you upstairs right now just so she could say hi and wave. And because I do want her, um, she was okay with that. I asked her if she wanted to be on camera tonight. And she said, yeah, I just can't move. So definitely want to do that. But uh, let's do some shout outs real quick. Um, I want to get my very special shout out, post notification shout out today. And that goes out to Low916 Cortez. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much. You did everything. You hit that subscribe button. Yeah, you, you turned on your post notification and you typed in hashtag done. That's where we got your post notification. And if you want one, you got to just do the same thing and that's it. Uh, but I'm shouting out everybody in here. We always do that. And we live Wednesday. Every single Wednesday, we go live right here from the cocina or it could be anywhere and uh today obviously we're talking about my wife's pregnancy and uh, early symptoms so thank you guys for that um shout outs to bo uh thanks for coming through my man that's my brother right there we'll see you soon bro um also valerie moreno what's going on let's see who else is in here andres um miss moreno 323 diehard right there uh, let's see, Vanessa Love, what's going on? Renata, you guys are going so fast. So if I say your first name, forgive me. That's all I can get in. Uh, what's up, Rachel Rivera, Michelle Lopez, Stacy Parker, uh, Misty's 49 family. Oh, 49ers, okay. All right, I'll see you guys in the playoffs. Well, maybe we won't see you there, but uh, you never know. Karina, what's going on? Erica, let's see here. Um, why don't you guys type in real quick? We'll go another two minutes on shout outs. Type in, well, I see your name, but type in your city and state. Let me know where you guys are in from. Like Carolina from San Antonio, Texas. What up? Uh, let's see here. 
Becca Contreras, what's up? Winton, California, Lubbock, Texas, Jennifer, McAllen, Vanessa Love, all Texas, man. We got to come out to Texas and do a meet and greet. The Bordeaux 505, Yvette, I see you. Um, uh, LA, Megan, Houston, Texas, Desiree, Chicago, Renata, Linda C. Fresno, Detroit, man, what's up? Sacramento, imagine life with us. Teresa's also from there. Sac Town, what up? Pullman, Washington, never been there, but that's interesting. Um, Perlo, shout out to Denver, Colorado. You guys are probably getting plenty of snow out there right now. Um, shout out to Bakersfield. Thank you, Melissa. We hope she feels good as well, better. Uh, I know she will. And we're looking forward just for a healthy baby. Let's do this. I see you, Dallas. We got you this Sunday, Rams and Dallas Cowboys. Uh, also, um, let me unplug this. It might get a little dark, guys, because it's uh, dark going up, up our stairs. But um, we're going to be at this Toys for Tot this Saturday here locally in Loma Linda at the Ronald McDonald House, helping out the kids and the families there. We're doing a Toys for Tot. It's a car show and, um, you know, toy drive. Santa Claus will be out there. Uh, we'll leave the, uh, the links. Um, let's see what I'll do. Well, I'll post it on the community page here on YouTube so you guys can check that out if you want to come out. And then Sunday, I'm also going to be at another event. Um, I'm looking at a Christmas tree right now. <laughs> I can't show you that. The white people get mad. So I'm just going to walk this way because I'm not supposed to show you yet. It's pretty much done. It's like 95% done and the decorations and all that. We just gotta put the star on the top. So let me go over here. <laughs> Layla, look at Layla. All of a sudden, she's better. Mm, all of a sudden. Daddy, huh? I want my puzzle. What, Papa? My puzzle. Your puzzle? Okay, give me a second, okay? Okay, Noki. Say, what's up, Fam Bam? Big Bam, what's up, Noki Noki? That's Elijah. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can say hi to the hyena. <laughs> There's the babe right there. What's up, babe? I'm honestly just starting to feel better right now. You want to know why? Why? Because of the sock. That's the sock of rice I was talking oh. about, guys. Can you that? This, like, saved my life today. And I didn't Come think on, about it until, like, two hours ago. So yeah, I've just been warming this up in the microwave and putting it on my back. Like, no joke, you guys, when I say I've been in bed all day, I've been in bed since yesterday at like 10 p.m. And I have not gotten out of bed. I've been so miserable. I've been crying. And I think I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. Good, babe. Good. Hey, I'm going to get some food right now. What? Give me my some puzzles. All right, I'm going to get your puzzles right now, Okay. <laughs> So she's good. So everything. So one to t I'm gonna act like your doctor. So on a scale of one to ten, uh, what's your pain level at? Well, it's gotten better, so I would say it's a five. Now. It's a five. Okay. Should I head to the store and get you something? Maybe perhaps something to eat. Yeah. Sure, doctor. All right. You know, there's not a problem that I can fix because I can do it in the mix. Yeah. Thank you, Fabian. Love you guys. I'm sorry I had to step out tonight. Okay. But... Bye. Just one of those days, you guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go get some food. Wait, Look at what? Layla. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lay? What are you eating over there? She got a little, she got her own Uber Eats. Where you get that? You got Uber Eats and didn't even get nothing for us? <laughs> really? No. <laughs> no? I'm going to need a bite of that. Where'd she get that? She been saving that? All of a sudden. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a great night tonight. We're already going to be at 20 minutes, so tomorrow we'll have a new vlog. We're going to start from the beginning. It may just be pregnancy updates, man, because obviously wifey's is not able to get out of bed. So, oh, I'm hoping uh, I'm better tomorrow, you guys. I'm going to make myself get out of bed because I have to vlog. Yeah. You got the vlogs? The Shout out to the pregnant brain right now. <laughs> for That's real. Terrible. <laughs> but honestly, you guys, I have to say real quick, I am so happy and thankful that I am feeling these symptoms because that just really reassures me that I am pregnant and I'm really terrified of something happening. Because I know with my miscarriages, I didn't really have pregnancy symptoms and um, 
that was really scary. So whenever I don't feel sick, I actually get scared. Right. That, that's, ex that's exactly what they said. Ali said, uh, your body's working right now, so just rest up. Yeah. Good night. Feel better. Good night. Hope you feel better, Stephanie. Nicole. The Haina. The Haina. And uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, you ready to take them out? Oh, yeah. All right. You ready to take them out? You gonna do him a little song? <laughs> do him a little, do him a little song. What's your song right now? DJ. Go ahead, rap it. How's it go? What? He yeah, he does. Okay. Oops, I poked his eye. I <laughs> you did that to me earlier. All right, guys, we really gotta go. Anyways, um, thank you for coming by the page and uh, and all your tips and your advice. I'm gonna go out and store and. Grab a couple of those things. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Bye, guys.